Hi guys, it's an Amka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch. We're going to take a look at how to install applications on this device without the aid of a companion smartphone because the applications that come as standard on this are fairly boring and nothing to shout home about. And even when you've got it connected to a smartphone, the applications that you can push to this device via the smartphone are not all that exciting either. So we're going to take a look at how to install applications while this device is connected to a computer. Now the prerequisites for this are that your computer must have the Android SDK installed as well as a Java development kit as well. There's plenty of guides online on how to do this so I'll try and leave a link in the description if you need it. Once you've got the software installed go into the settings of your Galaxy Gear smartwatch and scroll all the way down to the bottom where you have gear info. Tap into that and put a tick next to where it says USB debug. Hit OK to the message that appears and then grab your charging cradle that came with the device. Place the Galaxy Gear inside there, close the lid and insert the USB cable which is plugged into your computer. Notice you'll get a message on the screen of your Galaxy Gear smartwatch which says the computer's RSA key fingerprint is blah de blah. Always allow from this computer or hit OK. And we're gonna hit OK here and that's now connected. Once you've given your computer permission to speak to your smartwatch, you need to go to wherever you have installed the Android SDK software. Look for the application manager called SDK Manager. Normally you find this on your start menu under all programs, but if you can't find it there, it may be worth just searching for the application on your computer. I have a shortcut place to this on my desktop, so I'm going to double click it here and you can see I've got the folders Eclipse, SDK and SDK Manager.exe. This is what we need to click on here. I'm going to hit run to the message that's appeared and it should load the SDK manager. Once you've got the SDK manager installed, make sure you put a tick next to where it says Android SDK platform tools because this particular function has ADB installed, the Android debug utility, because that's what we need in order to push and install the application to your smartwatch. So go through the process of installing the Android SDK platform tools. I'm just gonna get rid of this because I already have this. Once you have the software installed on your computer, you're now gonna need the specific files used to install the applications on your smartwatch. Now this is the same process as installing the applications to your smartphone while using the ADB utility. Now if you look towards the right hand side of my desktop here, I've got three application files, so .apk files, which I've extracted from my rooted smartphone. If you haven't got a rooted smartphone, you can simply google the .apk files and there's plenty of links online there. And what I'm going to be installing is Sonic the Hedgehog, ES File Explorer and Power Amp Media Player. And now for ease of use, I like to rename these to something simple, which I have. So I'm going to select all of them, right click copy and put them in the same location as where ADB is for ease of use. So we need to go to SDK, then go to platform tools and we can see adb.exe here which means we've got the correct location. So I'm going to right click here, hit paste. Next hold down shift on your keyboard and whilst that is held down right click on an empty space and click on open command window here. That will open up a black DOS prompt window as you can see. And what we're going to be doing is checking to see if this can speak to the smartwatch by typing in adb space devices and this will show us a list of devices that the computer is picking up. Hit enter and you can see it says list of devices attached, the code of the smartwatch and then it says device. If you didn't hit OK to the message that appeared on the screen of the smartwatch once we connected it to the computer, it would say something like unauthorized device here. First application that we're going to be installing is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog. So I'll just bring down this command prompt window here and the install goes ADB space install space and then if we press tab it'll cycle through all the files that are in the same folder as adb so i'm going to press tab until we get to sonic one i think i called it the apk there we go and i'm just going to hit enter and it will take a couple of seconds to update and it should say if it's failed or it's been successful so i'll just give it a couple of seconds or so to go through the motions you can see it's moving the files across and you can see the package has gone to data local temp sonic 1.apk and it's taken what 10.05 seconds does it say there about 33 meg did it say something like that there there we go it's come back with saying success so the next thing that we want to install is going to be that es file explorer so we'll do the same thing again adb space install space press tab until we get to es file explorer there you can see es.apk it's in the same location so press tab until we get to it there we go es.apk hit enter and it should do the same thing as before it's got the size of the application package it's moved it across and it should start installing there we go that one's come back as success as well so next one and the final one that we're going to be doing is power ramp so we'll do the same command again adb space install 
space and then press tab and I think I called it power.apk. Uh, there we go, power.apk. Hit enter and it'll go through the same motions again. Size of the file, where it's moving it to, how long it's taken and it should be installing now. And there we have it, that one's been successful as well. So I can come out of this ADB window, come out of this and disconnect from my computer. We're done with the cabling, so I'm just gonna remove the cable here and I'll get rid of the, the cradle because that's no longer needed as well. So what we'll now do is scroll across to the application screen and you don't even need to reboot your device once you've got them installed. And if we scroll through these here, we should see them. There you go, ES File Explorer. If you go into it, just like on your Android smartphone, the same prompts that appear, you can scroll through the folders. As you can see, you've got the DCIM folders there, the movies, same as what you would expect on any Android 4.2 device. So swipe to go up and come out of this application. What else we've got? Power amp there that we moved across as well. That loads up, I'll come out of that. And this is my favorite here, Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Green Hill Zone Act 1. See if this looks as good as it does on the smartphone. Yay, look how good and vibrant that looks on this small Galaxy Gear smartwatch screen. On-screen controls pop up as well, being the joysticks to control little Sonic here. So let's see if we can use the directional button. I say the button, the joystick here. Get him to spin forward. Yay. But it's gonna be a little bit fiddly as you would expect on such a small screen. But if this is a first attempt at a smartwatch by Samsung, imagine how good the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2 will be. But that's how easily you can install applications via ADB on your Galaxy Gear smartwatch. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a like what you saw. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.